This is Chicago's Koval Distillery, where a bottle of their famous whiskeys can be as much as 55% ABV or 110 proof. Measuring spirits by ABV or alcohol by volume is pretty self-explanatory, but proof has an interesting backstory. Back in the 16th century, the English government taxed liquors that had a certain higher alcohol content. The English Navy would test spirits by soaking a pellet of gunpowder in the liquor and lighting it on fire. If it ignited, it was proof of higher alcohol content, and the spirit would receive the proof tax. The problem with this, or well, one of the problems, is that when you light liquor on fire, you're actually igniting the ethanol vapor it's emitting, not the liquid itself. That means a spirit's flammability is also dependent on its temperature. The warmer it is, the more vapor it'll emit. Still, even at cooler temperatures, more ethanol does mean more vapor. And so although the Navy's method was inconsistent, drinks that were above 50% ABV, like rum, whiskey, brandy, or vodka, were probably passing their test. In 1816, the British government decided to make the measurement even more specific. It defined proof liquor as having an alcohol level 12 thirteenths the weight of the same amount of distilled water when resting at 51 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 48% alcohol by weight or 57% ABV. And that's a lot of math. And so in 1848, the United States took a simpler approach and defined proof as double the ABV. So now you know, alcohol proof was originally proof that a liquor could be lit on fire. We did not get permission to do a demonstration.